you don't have another. Um, I'd have to think hard. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd have to. I'd have to think hard for it to be honest with you. Uh, so many films get shot in Brooklyn that don't necessarily speak about Brooklyn. And when you, you know, it's just the attitude like, if you're going to shoot in Brooklyn, you should really let someone know you're shooting in Brooklyn. Like, it should be clear to your audience that you're representing. And um, aside from Spike, man, there's no, you know, not even Scorsese. Like, you don't really get New York-based filmmakers or even foreign filmmakers coming in and saying, hey, you know, I want to represent Brooklyn and all its ups and downs, you know? Why, why is that so important? Um, because it's because film is so powerful in terms of how it gets out there as an audience, you know, and how palpable it is. And it's one thing to say that you know, yeah, Brooklyn is known for its cultural richness and its and its and its uh, dynamics and its music and all that. But you know, when it comes to how films being represented and to have the filmmaking history that we have. It's not the same. You don't you don't get the same feeling worldwide that like say Paris has or or certain parts of Paris for that matter, certain parts of London, certain parts of LA, you know what I mean? It's there's a certain richness in Brooklyn that still really isn't captured because it because there's all these enclaves. So, you know, I think there's filmmakers out there that do that and I think there's some that aspire to do like to really try to find some way to create like a rich texture of Brooklyn in one narrative. Um, but you know, it's it's yeah it's important to like represent man to make sure that the world knows how incredible this place